everybody this, today is just a quick video to show you like how how to open a sony vgn n38 e series laptop um, for that you're just going to need a cross screwdriver a straight screwdriver and tweezer as you can see these here so let's start with closing the lid and turning it around first thing first just take the battery out and uh, I'm all these, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's only there's 20 screws that I need to take out, so I'm just going to do it quickly. RAM. This is where if you want to upgrade your RAM, this is where it is. There they are. And I think there's one screwdriver here as well. I took some couple of three screwdrivers before just to like make the video a bit faster. Uh, let's see which one is left. So I'm going to turn it around. Let's see. these in one side I think they all out just one two there's two left Daisy. There's only one left. Here we go. So all the screws out. Just gonna slide out the uh, CD drive. Just gonna turn around. Uh, just wanna make sure. Last look. So there's no screw. There was three screwdrivers here, so which I removed before, just to speed up the uh, the video. So make sure you take these three as well before you can open it. Now we need to lift the keyboard. It's a bit tricky to do that. So what I'll do is you just need to lift and put your cross screwdriver one of the corner. After you got these hinges here, which are which are holding the keyboard, you need to remove them. And it's going to slide up and slowly just need to lift up. There we go. Now be careful, don't pull it because it's still intact with the motherboard. So we just need to open these hinges. As you can see down there. Then just pull it. There we go. Now we need to remember there's one screwdriver here. When first time I opened, I was trying to just lift the uh, top bit off and I could not open it because there was one screw here, which you need to make sure you remove it, which I already did because just to make the video a bit faster. So when all once all the screwdri screwdrivers are removed, we just need to start lifting from like one side. So if you put your fingers inside in the corner and then you start lifting it from one side. Do it slowly, slowly, and uh, make sure if if 
if it's, just, if it's not coming out, then th there must be a screwdriver still in there. So you need to make sure you remove all the screwdrivers. And uh, here we go. This is this is the mouse. You can see the you need to, you need to uh, plug this back in when you uh, put the, uh, the top bit back in. And here is the hard drive. You take off these screwdrivers. It's not going to come out without taking those screwdriver. So we need to unscrew these two drivers. This one. And his second quite long one. So now we can pull this out of the hard drive slowly. Here we go. The hard drive is going to have like four screwdrivers. I've got only two at the moment. <coughs> We're just going to open those. And just put it in there. I need to remember the setup interfaces up towards up, so we need to remember that. So now we just remove the hard drive, <coughs> bring the replacement, and also you can see if you put the hard drive wrong way, the screw is not going to come. Where they should be, so you can see the holes are not there, so you know it's the wrong way around. So if you turn it around, you can see there's a holes. I'm gonna quickly <coughs> put the screws back on the hard drive so it's safer. Put two for now. There we go. You need to slide there, and if you lift a little bit up the motherboard and just slide in the hard drive. <coughs> Once it's properly uh, slide in, I'm just going to put the hard disk screwdriver first. Make sure the tight properly. Is that done. I'm just going to put the the uh, top bit on to make sure you can see the, the mouse connector. Clip the uh, plastic in the corner, make sure the plastic clipped in. First thing first, I'm just going to slide in the, uh, the mouse uh, connector in here. Slide it easily. And just close the black lid. You can use this tweezer to do that, but I find it easy with hand. And now, you just need to put this screwdriver back in. <clears throat> That's our wireless LAN card, so you can see it's probably plugged in. You haven't touched it now. I've done so many machine replacement, but I find this keyboard is the most annoying one because it's really hard to get in to the actual port. So what I do is uh, <coughs> I hold the the lock with one uh, one hand and then I slide in. It's not it's not really easy one to do. So I'm just going. Okay. 
just you need to make sure they're equal from both sides and we just like push in and once it's in properly we just close the uh, the lock so it doesn't come out there we go there we go it's done and we need to put this top bit first and we just need to click it slowly slowly gently that's it now we change the hard drive and now what's left is to just turn it on, put all the screws back, job done. Which uh, I think uh, it's quite easy to do so I'm not going to like waste it in your, uh, any more time, uh, so just a quick video. Uh, thanks for watching, cheers, bye bye.